This is not the time to go storm watching on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Premier John Horgan made one thing clear today to all British Columbians. If you're not required to travel right now, then don't. When it comes to travel, non-essential travel is prohibited in British Columbia and it will remain that way for the next two weeks at least. But businesses across the province say another sudden halt to the tourism industry comes with the magnitude of consequences. Victoria's hotel occupancy has already dropped below 10% since the start of the pandemic. I think you may see in urban centres like Vancouver and Victoria, uh, some ho large hotels closing for a period of months and that's all those jobs are gone and they don't come back. They're not going somewhere else. And they may be the right decisions, but they're not without uh, significant impact. And specifically on Vancouver Island, some businesses are insisting if you're not from the island, don't come for now. A lot of personal contact who have actually asked the customers from the Lower Mainland not even to come into their stores. Whistler's mayor is also acutely aware of a second economic hit on the horizon, but is still asking people to listen to the province. This has been devastating for our town. Um, and we... We live, we breathe, we love tourism from an economic and I think from just a, a, a human standpoint, um, we, we miss it and we need it. And that's why flattening this curve is so critical. Over in Penticton, a similar story is brewing. Business owners that rely on crowds from across the province say they're battling against a no-win situation if recreational travel screeches to a stop. A shutdown would be the worst thing for all of us. So if we can take a couple of weeks and, uh, and, and just regroup and manage to stay open, manage to not have to have a complete shutdown. I think for all of us, uh, that kind of takes that double-edged sword and maybe puts it a little farther away from, from uh, ripping us apart. The tourism industry is urging the province to be very clear in whatever further restrictions could come forward, leaving no room for confusion. So that, uh, you know, various businesses know what the short and long term looks like. Uh, and, and then we can plan and work accordingly to that. We don't know if a majority of our businesses will see the spring, you know, and, and so if, if, if it does come down to the fact that there's no travel within BC, then uh, I, I'm not even sure where to begin. And the Premier's messaging isn't just targeting travel within BC. He's pushing for what he calls the pan-Canadian travel approach. Horgan is calling on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to bring in a national travel strategy that's uniform across the country. Zara Premji, CBC News, Vancouver.